Hi, kindergartners, it's Mrs. Ott, and it's time for our interactive read aloud. Today's story is called Every Autumn Comes the Bear. This book was written by Jim Arnosky. This is the last book in our text set 17, Sharing the Earth, Animals. The title and the front cover of the book tell us what our story is going to be about. The story is going to be about a bear, and the story is going to take place in the autumn time, or the season we call fall. What do you know about bears? Do we have bears where we live in Metamora? No, we don't. In this story, someone tells a story about something that happens every year in the woods behind a farm. Let's read to find out what happens. Every autumn comes the bear. There is a wooded hill behind our farm. It is a wild and rugged place with as many rocks as trees. Every autumn, after the leaves have fallen, a bear shows up. He walks out of the cliff. He walks out on the cliff where the ravens perch. He growls into the bobcat's lair. Ooh, that's a scary looking picture. They both have very sharp teeth, don't they? The bear follows every trail just to see where each trail leads. He drinks cold water from the spring and claws a tall, straight tree. Friends, we see other animals in the story besides just the bear. What do we see on this page? Yes, and on the page before, we saw a raccoon. Does the bear see the raccoon? Does it look like the raccoon knows the bear is there? I definitely think so. Looks like he's hiding. The other animals hide from the bear, but he knows they are there. He smells the scent of a fox. He hears a grouse bursting into flight. When the hill is white with snow, the bear climbs the highest rock. He looks out over all the treetops. Then, searching amid the hilltop boulders, he finds a den and crawls inside. Boys and girls, have you noticed how the scenery around the bear has changed? Look at the woods around him. At the beginning of the story, it was fall and we could see things looked green and alive. And right now, what do we see? We see snow. Nestled there against the cold rock, the only fat and fur to keep him warm. Sorry, let me say that again. With only fat and fur to keep him warm. Nestled there against the cold rock with only fat and fur to keep him warm. He sleeps all winter long. We learned bears do something when winter comes. What do they do? 
they find a den and they sleep. And we call this hibernation. Can you say hibernation? How long will the bear sleep? Yep, it says all winter long. Spring is a time of change. What will change for the bear? So when the snow starts to melt and everything starts to warm up a little, it will be springtime. And the bear will wake up and what will he want to look for? He will look for food, he'll be very hungry. How does the author let you know where and when the story takes place? Think about what the bear is doing and the time of year. So when we see the beginning of the book, we notice we see trees, we see green in the background, we see leaves that have fallen on the ground. And as the story progresses, we can see how it's starting to change. We see snow. We don't see leaves anymore. So we know that the bear is, um, he's going to hibernate once we see snow coming and the seasons have changed. After reading this book, I wonder what bears like to eat during the summer. What do you wonder about? I hope you enjoyed our story today, Every Autumn Comes the Bear. Have a great day.